The 34th annual Mr. MSU pageant is back, and this year the contestants are showing their true colors, red, white, and blue. Taylor Crum has the story. This year's theme is an American pride theme, and it's all about America and freedom, and we want you for Mr. MSU. Mr. MSU is a male pageant put on every year by Panhellenic Sorority Alpha Omicron Pi. The pageant has been a key philanthropic event for A.O. Pi's charity, the Arthritis Foundation. And we're hoping that someday there'll be a cure. Uh, right now there's not, but we're hoping and we're really working really hard to make that happen. Last year we raised $10,600. And um, like I've looked through the past reports and it seems like it's steadily increased every year. So um, we're hoping to raise a little bit more than that this year. The contestants compete in a variety of categories to be considered for the title of Mr. MSU. There is a pre-score for their application that they turned in back in March. Um, and that included an essay and just kind of like activities and honors and things they were involved in on campus. Then there's an interview the day of Mr. MSU but it's earlier, not during the show. So they're um, judged on that as well. And then the main portion is the talent portion and their activities and honors that are read during the t evening wear. They're judged on things like stage presence and all that has a factor in it as well. Many awards were up for grabs this year, including Most Photogenic, Best Legs, Mr. Congeniality, Crowd Appeal, and of course, Mr. MSU. They just announced Barrett Paz Durka as Mr. MSU 2014, and we were able to catch up with him shortly after he received his award. Um, it feels awesome. I'm really humbled to have the title of Mr. Murray State, and hopefully I can impact other people. Even after winning his award, Mr. MSU never lost sight of what the pageant was really about. I thought it was awesome about how AOPI chooses arthritis as their um, goal to focus their time and energy and money and everything that happens this week too um, and I think that's looked over especially from a contestant perspective because we're so worried about formal and talents and interviews and everything it's kind of looked over what we're all here for and I think AOPI did an awesome job of keeping that in everybody's mind.